The pattern in the box shows part of a taxillation. Extend the taxillation by drawing two more unit shapes in the space provided in the box. Now, as per my strategy previously, just go and watch my previous uh, video, sir. We'll always start by shading one unit first. So we're just going to shade one unit. After you have shaded one unit, shade another connecting unit to show how it stacks up. Okay? So since the open space over here, I want to shade this one. If the open space is over here, I will shade this one. Okay? So shade according to the direction of the open space. So I shade this one as well. Because I want to see how it stacks up, right? Okay, now let's take a look at how it stacks up. We realize that it always stacks up in this line. This is the line that is always stacking up. Okay, so again, I'm going to use my marker, but if I use my marker, I cannot use my ruler. So for you please go and use your ruler. Huh? So we realize that, you see, it always stacks up here, right? Then it stacks up here. Now, from here, right, I'm going to replicate this entire thing. I'm going to replicate here what I have over here. So from here, you realize that at the back end, it joined the other line. Okay, so it goes like this. So whatever I do on the real shape, oh, sorry, whatever I do on the existing shape, I'm going to do on my own shape. So this line is this line. So this line will be this line okay and this line would be this line so you realize right now right i'm always doing line by line okay i don't want to go like i'm i don't want to try everything at one go i just want to do one line by one line so this line would be this line is that like connecting the dots okay this line would be this line and this line will be this line okay then like that i'm done so the strategy that i always teach is always go line by line don't try to replicate the entire thing you'll be too confused. Every single problem, break it down into different pieces, you'll be able to get an answer. Okay, now, this one, right? So, one. Yeah, actually, you all, do, you all don't need to write one. Uh. I'm just writing one just to show you all, okay? So, my parents are watching this also, teach, that, teach your kid my instruction. This will be a lot easier for them to understand also. Now, for this one, okay, I'm going to shade the open space over here, right? So, I'm going to shade the nearest taxillation six. Okay, so, step one, shade this one. And since my open space over here, I'm going to shade the opposing, the opposing side. Step 2, shade the opposing one. Okay, see how they stack. Now, <clears throat> third step, go and draw what they're trying, draw on what they're, draw on the existing what they're trying to emulate, which is this. This is the existing, I'm trying to emulate this one. Okay, so once I draw this one right, okay, then this one is mine. I'll draw the equivalent. Then from here, also on my existing, I draw like that. Okay, so this one will also be like that. Then, then I draw another existing, then I draw this one. I draw another existing, then I draw this one. Then I got I got the shape ready. Okay, so this is actually a very, very good method uh, for your kids to not lose mark over taxillation. Taxillation may seem very simple, but I've seen a lot of students who make a lot of mistakes for this one. So I have to come up with a strategy like this. So remember, step one is always find an open space. Once you find an open space, go and shade the existing. Okay, and shade another existing that is in connect. After that, go line by line. So this method <coughs> will always <coughs> this method will work for most of the students. It's actually very very brilliant. All right, done.